Hi, I'm Brian Hogan, and I'm going to show you how I use Tmux, the terminal multiplexer, to work on my projects. I've got this very simple shopping list app that I'm writing. I just started working on it, so there are a few things I need to do. It's using Ruby on Rails in the RSpec testing library, and when you work with these tools, you often spend a lot of time on the command line. To manage this, I usually create a new Tmux session for the app that I'm working on. Once I'm in the new session, I start up my editor. I use Vim in terminal mode. Now I need to run a command to generate some files for my application. I could open a new terminal window, but instead I can use Tmux's split panes to divide the window in half, and then I can type the commands that I need to run. First I'll run a generator to create my list resource, and then I'll run the command to set up my test database. Now I can move to the top window again, and I can open up the files that I want to work on. In this particular case, I'm going to open up the spec file for the list, and I'm going to ensure that whenever I create a new list, the list has a unique name. Before I go any farther, I want to make sure that I didn't make any mistakes when writing this test, so I'll move to the bottom pane and I'll run rake spec. The test runs and tells me that it failed, so I can move to the top pane and I can open up the list model so that I can implement the code to make this test pass. Now I can easily move between these panes, but it's going to get a little tedious. So instead of running the test runner constantly, I'm going to run the auto test command in this bottom pane. Now with the test runner running, I can jump back up to the top and implement the code to make the test pass. I can even resize the top pane to give myself more room. And now you can see that as I've worked on my project, my tests are passing. Right now I have this one window divided into two panes, but I can also add additional windows to my project. I can create a window for the Rails console, for example, and then I can even rename that window to console. I'll also create another window for the Rails server, and I'll rename that to server. Since the windows are bound to my number keys, I can easily jump from window to window. I can even access a little handy window list to move between the windows effortlessly. I don't have to take my hand off the home row once. I also have a Node.js project running in a different Tmux session. I can switch between Tmux sessions without moving my fingers off of the home row. I'm not that good at Node.js, but I have a friend who is, and he's going to help me work my way through this project. He can connect to my Tmux session remotely and see exactly what I see. And as he moves the cursor around on his screen, I'll be able to see it move on my screen in real time, and he'll be able to help me dig my way out of the hole that I've dug for myself. Throughout this entire screencast, I haven't had to reach over for that trackpad once. Being able to move effortlessly between different windows, panes, and even different Tmux sessions is a huge productivity boost for me. If you'd like to learn more, you can pick up a copy of my book, Tmux 2 productive mouse-free development. Thanks for watching.